this is a problem um, where we're going to have a nice application of mass point geometry. And we start by drawing our picture. We got a triangle ABC. B is the midpoint of BC. E is the midpoint of the segment we just drew, AB. And then F is the midpoint of BE. So we take our time and we get it drawn. And then it says, let G be where AB and CF intersect. And so that's going to be right about there. And um, just remembering that we got a bunch of midpoints going on here. Um, we're going to use mass points. Now, to use mass points, uh, we usually have to either have two Chevians or something like that. And so that's what we're going to do to start with is draw that in. And I like to draw a second picture whenever I'm, I've got too many lines for me to keep track of stuff. Um, so A, B, B, we'll call this Q. Um, this point here is E. Um, and down here C. And so we know that those two are a midpoint and we know these are a midpoint. So to solve this, we just need to start applying some masses. And so let's just, just to give us some leeway, we're going to give this up here a mass of two. We could do mass of one. I think this would work. But I'm just going to give it a mass of two to make sure. Um, and so this is going to be a mass of two down here because they have the same, which means this is a mass of four because B. Um, we find that mass by adding the masses of B and C. Then A has to have the same mass as B, so that's got a mass of 4 also, uh, because the ratio of AE to ED is 1 to 1, so the ratio of the masses A at A and at B has to be 1 to 1. And then down here we add our masses to give Q a mass of 6. And if Q has a mass of 6, then we have A and 3A there. Well, um, the 3a part is actually split in half in this picture by f. And so we've got this f up here. Well, to help me with my ratios, I'm actually going to call this one 2a and this 6a. So I get 2a, 3a, and 3a. And from that, we can see that um, our ratio of bf to um, uh, bf to fq is now 5 to 8. And so if we draw in this down here with A, and we're going to draw in BQ, and then we're going to draw in um, F or G, C. Well, we know that we have a ratio that we just found here, 3 to 5. And so we can call this up here 5 and this down here 3 because we know this is 5a to 3a. But then we also know from what we found out in this picture that the ratio of aq to qc is 1 to 2. And so since this has a mass of 3, then we need to give a a mass of 2 and c a mass of 1, because 2 plus 1 has to equal 3, and it needed to be give you this 1 to 2 ratio. Now we've actually solved the problem, because a has a mass of 2, B has a mass of 5. That means GB, this segment, um, actually we did AG first, right? AG, which is this segment right here, to GB, um, to AB, which is the entire segment. Well, this segment is going to be 5 to 2. Um, AG to GB, which means AG to AB, is just going to be 5 to 7. And so AG to a, B is simply going to be 5 to 7. And it's a nice creative use of mass points.